Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. So what's ahead? Now, in the next few days, just like today, just like yesterday, isolated thunder showers can't be ruled out. Today, the highest concentration was towards the NRV and especially up towards the highlands in southern Shenandoah. Those thunder showers, as you'll see here in a second, are long gone, but they could refire again tomorrow. Late week, the humidity will rise, and then early next week, we could have a better chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms area wide. Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, Martinsville, South Boston. You didn't see one lick of rain today. However, you certainly saw your fair share into our mountainous communities. It's a clean sweep on the radar. I will tell you that there's one shower towards Tazewell County. Cannot rule out a stray shower over the next couple of hours. Say along that I-77 corridor into Bland, maybe even into Wythe counties. But uh, those will be few and far between if anything occurs at all. Here's a look at those little cells that have developed in and around Tazewell and also around Berks Garden. I will tell you that uh, the showers and thunderstorms that we had earlier now have dissipated. There's a little more energy farther to the west, but with high pressure and control for us tomorrow, that should hold a lot of the showers and storms west of us at bay. Now for the rest of tonight, some fog may form in those river valleys, and then on Wednesday we'll start out with skies partly sunny. I do think that after about 1 o'clock we will have a few more showers and or a stray storm develop. That activity could linger into the mid-evening hours before ending. And then as we head into Thursday, rinse and repeat. Starting out Thursday with some sunshine, we'll end the day with more cloud cover and along with that isolated chance for a few more thunder showers. Chance for rain here Wednesday and Thursday stands at around 20 or 30%. Okay, we've had a uh, landfalling tropical storm a little more than 24 hours ago. Happened yesterday morning in around Bradenton, Florida when Emily hit shore. I, I will show you now that Emily is really looking discombobulated. It's now just pretty much a remnant low. We're going to close a book on Emily after I show you uh, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. Again, right now it has winds of 35 miles per hour. Not expected to redevelop into a tropical storm, but rather it will likely just fall apart as it moves a little bit farther north into the Atlantic Ocean. So Emily should impact no more land masses. Shipping interest may want to keep an eye on the remnant moisture from Emily, but uh, overall, I think we're pretty much good to move on from Emily. Looking back at July, of course, today is August 1st. July was certainly a pretty hot month for us. Average temperature in Roanoke was 78.6. That's about two degrees above normal. And uh, as far as the dry weather, yeah, it was a pretty dry month for us as well. Picked up over two inches of rain at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. That is two inches below normal for the month of July. It's 65 in Lexington, 69 in Lynchburg, 68 in Danville. It's 64 in Withville. Dew points are relatively elevated. It's not what I would call incredibly humid out there, but it's not dry either. We're somewhere in between. The muggies are there, but they're not really all that potent. Looks like those muggies are going to become more widespread as we head over the course of the next 48 hours. Overnight tonight, we're looking at lows around 65 with some clouds around. Again, a stray shower can't be ruled out west. Then for the day tomorrow, a few more showers, a few more storms possible. Highs in the mid to upper 80s under partly sunny skies. Your three degree guarantee high on hump day, 87. Your extended forecast. Showing temperatures 89 on Thursday, Friday, 87. Near 80, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. A slightly better chance for some pop-up thunder showers Friday and Saturday as a weak front moves in. I think the best chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms <coughs> will come early next week on Monday and Tuesday. Front gets here Monday and will stall out over us on Tuesday. Yeah, Roanoke Children's Theater. Yeah. Roanoke Children's Theater is a new charity for the month of August. Today we forecast 87. Actual high was 85. $10 in the pot since it's the first day of the month. Uh-huh. $10 so far, right? For the